Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Sourdough for Beginners. I am dehydrating some starter today and I started doing it and thought, you know what, maybe I should just make a video. Um, so we have a huge group on Facebook. Right now it's at over 300,000 members. Um, I created a little infographic with how to rehydrate a starter um, that's pretty popular in the group. Um, I also dehydrate starter and sell it myself on Etsy. Um, lots of the people in the group are familiar with my starters from watching my videos. If you've been watching my videos, then um, you've met Mama and Sleepy before. Um, so they're great little active starters. And so what I've done is just um, started dehydrating the starter and people who don't want to make their own starter can just buy it off of Etsy and get started a little faster. I'll link that in the description. But there's lots of reasons to dehydrate your starter. Once you've got a happy active starter, a good thing to do is to dehydrate, you know, a bunch. Um, and then you've always got a backup. So if something goes wrong with your starter, it molds or, or accidentally gets cooked or whatever, then you've got this backup plan. At the end of this video, I'll post the infographic that, um, it tells how to rehydrate a starter, but for now let's, let's dehydrate some. So what I've got are my two starters. They were fed this morning. They got to peak. Um, I've got my scale. So this morning when I fed my starters, I fed them enough to leave me um, uh, what I will need for bread later on today um, and also enough to take about 50 grams out of each starter. So the way I started was I just grabbed a piece of parchment paper and my scale and I sat the parchment paper on my scale and measured out 50 grams from each of my two starters and just plunk them onto this parchment paper. And now all I'm going to do is just use my knife or, you know, anything you have to try to spread this starter as thin as possible. So all we're going to do is just, you know, keep spreading until it's as thin as possible. Now, if you don't get it very thin, um, then what's going to happen is it's, it'll dry on top and then it'll be wet underneath. So often what I will do is I'll let this sit for, you know, six or seven hours and then I'll come back in and I'll spread it again. So you'll be able to see where the wet spots are. But when you're working on it, just do, do as thin of a layer as you can possibly get. Just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'll tell you, if you leave dehydrating starters sitting out in your kitchen, whoo, it gets stinky. Um, so everyone in my family um, knows not to touch the oven unless, um, <laughs> unless they talk to me first. Putting anything to do with starter or with sourdough in the oven makes me so nervous whenever I see people on, on the group saying, oh, well, I just keep my starter in the oven with the lid on. Um, it's just, there's just such a high risk of accidentally cooking your starter. Um, but um, in this case, in my case, it's pretty safe. Um, so you've got a couple of options here. I've got a dehydrator, so I'm usually using a dehydrator, which gets it done in a few hours. But if you don't, just sit this somewhere warm and dry and let it dry out. And then once it's dried out, what you'll end up with is like a, I'll show you a crinkly, sort of crunchy, um, dried out starter. So this came off of... Um, it is dried out starter came off of parchment so you end up with these like flakes right and then all you have to do is drop these flakes in some water spend a couple of days feeding it and now you've got your old starter reactivated again so you can use this technique um you know to give starter away to friends and family who don't live nearby you know lots and lots of people sell dehydrated starter there's lots of reasons for it but if you're just a regular everyday sourdough baker i think the biggest um reason for for dehydrating your starter is going to be as a backup plan just in case in the horrible event that something awful happens to your starter that you worked so hard to make um then you've got this backup plan so that's it that's all you do to dehydrate starter and like i said just right now i'll i'll upload that infographic into the video and i hope that you liked this be sure to subscribe come find our facebook group um if you're interested in dehydrated starter i'll link it um and if you've got any questions post them in the comments talk to you soon